Detectives say the driver of a stolen truck dragged an officer, then led police on a chase through Jeffersonville. And tonight, the driver, 44 year old Richard Franklin, is behind bars. WLKY's Erica Codgill joins us live now from the 1500 block of 10th Street, where the chase began. Erica? Vicki, police were responding to a report of a truck that was stolen out of Louisville, and detectives say they spotted that truck here in the parking lot of rallies with Franklin behind the wheel. They say an officer walked up to that truck, asked Franklin to get out and to stop, but he says instead Franklin tried to take off. At that point, they say the officer then reached into that truck to stop Franklin, and he hit the gas again, dragging the officer along with that truck. But the officer was not seriously hurt. 44 year old Richard Franklin is arrested Monday afternoon after a police chase through Jeffersonville. Robert McDonald recorded the video. He lives nearby and witnessed the tail end of that chase. I noticed a red, old, red beat up pickup truck was racing through the apartments and he had at least 10 to 12 police cars behind him. It was after hearing sirens ring through the Beach Grove apartment complex that he and several other residents stepped outside to investigate. I seen this truck went airborne through the neighborhood and then it went airborne right through here and then jumped over that curb and went slinging down there. So I'd seen all the police. I mean, it was coming from everywhere. And, uh, but, you know, it was, it looked like the Dukes of Hazard coming through here. Police say Franklin, with a friend in the passenger seat, then drove through this field and into the woods where he wrecked. Detectives say his friend surrendered, but Franklin tried to escape until a canine bit him on the hand and hip. I seen him, you know, putting handcuffs on him, and he just kind of looked, you know, like, well, you got me. It was pretty bad. It was. Scary, actually. Those who live here are thankful no one was seriously hurt. It was 3:30. I mean, uh, Jeff High School had just let out, and from what I understand, he was driving on the sidewalks over there by Jeff High School. So uh, it, it's just a miracle, you know, that he didn't kill somebody. Now, Franklin's passenger was not arrested nor charged. Franklin is facing several charges tonight, including resisting law enforcement and criminal recklessness. Now, he is no stranger to the Jeffersonville uh, Police Department. His criminal history dates back to 2010, including convictions of burglary, auto theft, and resisting law enforcement. He was also involved in a standoff in Jeffersonville back in 2012 at Center and Long Streets. Reporting live in Jeffersonville, I'm Erica Coghill, WLKY News.